Well, welcome back to the Toy Collector's Attic. We're mm -hmm. up in the attic screwing around with yes. old toys. Old toys. And what we have here is a toy that I had as a kid, and boy, was this thing hard to find. I'll bet. You can't even find where it ever existed. The people who made it don't even kind of want to admit that they ever made it. Mm, uh, it wasn't out for very long. <laughs> it was controversial. It was there, it was gone, and then it was just sort of done. Mm. But it's the Mattel H2O nuclear missile. Nuclear missile. Yes, so you launch this two-stage ICBM in your backyard, and you try to hit the sandbox with your 20 megaton thermonuclear device. Wow. In other words, a couple of caps. So in the warhead, you would put some caps, and then you'd launch this thing. It's a water rocket, and it would fly pretty darn they high. Do. This thing would just go, mm -hmm. and uh, and then it would bang when it hit the ground. The, the caps <laughs> would pop, and, and away you'd go. <laughs> and it, as a kid, I just absolutely loved, 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 loved uh, any kind of rockets oh, and water rockets and, and all of that sort of thing. Right. But not only was the subject matter slightly controversial, it was 1958 that this came oh. out. So I don't know that people were all that concerned about the fact that their kids were playing with a nuclear not missile then. in the backyard. Not then. Later on, that became sort of politically incorrect. Mm -hmm. But in 1958, it was kind of okay That's if your 10-year-old wanted to launch an ICBM at the neighbor's yeah. house. That was okay. But... Uh, I think the thing that m most pissed people off was the very, very, very misleading advertising. Now, I don't know, M Mattel, let's face it, is the definitive toy company. It was. It was the ultimate toy company. And, and still is. I mean, oh, to, sure. you know, it's like Barbie, hello? I yes. mean, it's like all of the things that they did were the best and the coolest and the stuff that every kid wanted. If it's swell, it's Mattel. If it's, yeah. it's swell, it's um, Mattel. Mm -hmm. The downside is that their marketing department did tend to mm, exaggerate and uh, a lot of parents would get pissed off. The kids would say, oh, it's a flying airplane, I got it, because on the TV commercial, mm -hmm. the jet airplane's flying through the trees and it's a plastic model, it doesn't fly. Right. But they'd show all that. These days they'll still do that, uh, Mattel and other companies, mm -hmm. but they'll put a little tag on this as not an actual flying model. Well, back then uh, they didn't do that. Mm -hmm. And your assumption was, well, it must be a radio controlled airplane or something because right. they've got it all going around trees. And Anyway, yes. with this thing, what they did that was so misleading is they really misled the price. Mm. And and here's the, the little booklet on it and, and a price catalog and so on. But uh, in the ad, it would say that this was, well, let's look up and get the exact right price because we don't want to, uh, to misinform here if we can avoid it. This thing's sort of trying it's to so fall apart. It's so old. It's just, yeah. Just trying to fall apart. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it says, please rush me blank replacement rockets at $1 each. Wow. And then there's an adapter kit for $1 a piece and so at the ad it would say one dollar one dollar that was a lot of money though back then well you know and, and i'm looking at this and it's the two-stage icbm blah 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 oh. and the thing comes on it says one dollar one dollar and i said mom i gotta have that i mean come on it's summer and it's and it's hot out mm -hmm. there and water goes all over and it'll be fun yes. and it's only a dollar and so she goes well of course it's only a dollar and so we uh, we go to the store to buy this thing, and as I recall, when we got to the store, it was four ninety eight. Oh. Now four ninety eight doesn't sound like that a lot of money today, today but nineteen fifty eight. So That's adjusted so for inflation, we're talking sixty bucks. Oh, easy. At a dollar, we're talking maybe eleven bucks. Right. That's not so bad, and you get to the store and it's actually five dollars. Uh, ostensibly like sixty dollars today and my mom just said there's no way we're not going to do that and i looked at the commercial again and what the commercial was for was this variant it was just a rubber band oh. and it would flip the nose cone it would just shoot the rocket part and it'd come down so if you just wanted the the, the little top of the rocket with a rubber band to launch it that was a dollar 
if you wanted the whole thing. It was more. But in the TV commercial, they'd show it going and said, also can be launched with a, with a rocket, with a rubber band, and, pew, and the kid launches it with the thing, and then the price tag comes on and it says 98 cents. And you go, 98 cents? Uh -huh. You know, let's go over to Grand I Central immediately. That, yes. And yeah. <laughs> and we got, a, my mom was ticked off and she wouldn't buy it. And I was all upset and crying. And, mm. well, I wanted, the, I wanted to nuke the good fellows next door. And then I was going to go over to the Summer Haze and nuke them. And but I'll stay busy. I'll, just, I'll be busy all summer <laughs> and it would be so cool. Oh my. Well, my uncle uh, showed sympathy and he said, you know, $5 isn't that much money. And he was a colonel in the Air Force and, mm -hmm. you know, a nephew that wanted to nuke the world. He approved of that. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he bought it for me. Oh. And then it was gone from the market. And in the largest part because the advertising was so misleading. Misleading. Mm -hmm. There was another problem with this. It hooks to your garden hose and it'll go. I don't know, 100 feet oh, into yes. the air because yes. it's two stage. The first right. stage actually only propels it for about a foot. And then the upper part separates. Mm -hmm. But in that foot, it accelerates to quite a high speed so that when the small rocket leaves mm -hmm. and is under power from the motor, the water engine, uh, it's already traveling at, I don't know, 30, 40 miles an oh, hour by the time the top even turns on. So it would really make it go high. Now, the downside of that is since this hooks to the garden hose, that means you, you got to hook it to the garden hose. That means you got to launch it in your yard. Oh. And it goes up 100 feet. How many of these things are going to end up in a tree, on the roof, in the neighbor's yard? You know, Chasing the neighbor. And that's why they sold extra mm, rockets for a dollar. Of course. And at a dollar, if you're over there. So immediately, as soon as I used it, the rocket's on the roof. And I had to run over to Grand Central and buy a new top stage for a dollar. The upside of that is when my uncle came around, he got a ladder and he got up, he on, got the up on the roof and, and uh, pulled the other one down. Now I had two second stages and so on. But they had an adapter for this, and what, and it was a dollar. Again, more pricing stuff, so it wouldn't go on the roof. It was a, a tire pump adapter, and it hooked to this, and you'd fill it with water, and then you could take it to the park or someplace where it wasn't going to end up on the roof, mm. and you pump it up with a tire pump, that, yeah. and then <laughs> phew, and it would and it would work. Right. But the much higher flights and everything came from hooking it to the to garden, garden hose, house, yeah. but that meant launching it right next to your house, and what could possibly go wrong? You should have grew up where I did, and you could spend the rest of the afternoon looking for it in the field. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and put a hundred feet of hose on there yeah. and just take it out in the yeah, field and you've go. got it. Yeah. But it's it's so cool and and the the booklet here uh, this one's just in such bad shape. Mm -hmm. But it does uh, tell you how ballistic missiles work and yes. how nuclear weapons work and mm -hmm. and uh, the the whole darn thing and mm -hmm. you've got the replacement because you're going to be replacing rockets and you can order those from Mattel. You still can get these though. Uh, they're the school kits. Uh, we did it with our summer school program and the science teachers had the kids build them. Right. But it was with the pump where they pump them up and then set them. Well, on. there's there's a ton of water rockets. Oh, there's yeah. always been water rockets right. on the market, but this, this one, was the one. This was the special. And one. the other ones all sold back then for you know forty nine cents a mm -hmm. dollar yeah. for a really nice water rocket. And uh, but this one was quite literally the bomb. This is the bomb. <laughs> So this was oh, the cool one. Man. It's also because it's so early. It's before there were styrene plastics. Oh right. And that means that it's actually made out of acetate plastic. Oh. And I can't, uh, I can't remove this because oh, it's fresh it's in the just, box. Yes. It's never been out and launched, so right. I, I don't really want to take it apart. Mm -hmm. But the fins tend to curl up and stuff because it's made of acetate plastic. And back in the day, that didn't matter. But, but here we are, some 60 years later, oh, yes. and uh, finding one of these that's all straight and everything mm -hmm. is nearly impossible. Well, uh, plastics uh, age. Ac yeah. Acetate plastic just curls and bends and, right. and all sorts of things yeah, you try to but you've got works. the uh the the launching pad here that's is made of an acetate the the string that you oh, pull with the little adapter it's all still in the bag isn't that cool and and everything so this was uh 4.98 mm -hmm. at grand central a ridiculous price for that they're way more ridiculous now if you can find one, and it took me about two years to, to find, find this one, because I wanted to find one that was still in the box and in perfect like shape new. and all there, because most of the ones you find the There's launch mechanism's gone or the pad is broken, there's mm -hmm. something wrong with it. 
this one was pretty much mint in spite of the condition of the, of the, the stuff, the box yeah. and stuff. And I think I paid $120, yeah. something like that. Has so that's gone up in price at all. That's actually <laughs> adjusted for inflation cheaper than it was. <laughs> actually, I, I guess I'd be about the, the same as it was. Yeah. A little, well, actually, a little more money than it would have been back then. $5 adjusted for inflation would be around from 58 60 to 70 bucks, something like that. Wow. But that, was, that means that's a very expensive toy oh, yeah. back in 1958, mm -hmm. and, and my mom just pitched a fit when we went over there thinking it was 98 cents, and yeah. it was 4 98 Oh, jeez. Well, uh, we're not, uh, if you haven't, haven't been over to the channel, do pop over to the channel. And if you haven't subscribed at the channel, you want to subscribe. And the easy way to subscribe is with the blue button, zoink, blue button right down there. That will make you a subscriber, take you to the channel where you can binge watch yes. all kinds of other things. Right. Click on the blue button. But we're not sure how you found this movie on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring. And we will be here again on Sunday yes. with the regular show. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>